In this instructional video, students will add and subtract mixed numbers with common denominators. Linda is making cupcakes and brownies for a bake sale at her school. If she uses two and one fourth cups of sugar for the cupcakes and one and one fourth cups of sugar for the brownies, how many total cups of sugar does she use for the cupcakes and the brownies? Well, we can represent two and one fourth using a bar model here. We can see that four fourths and four fourths is shaded, which represents two wholes and then one fourth plus one and one fourth and that is the four fourths is shaded in blue plus one fourth so two and one fourth plus one and one fourth two plus one is three when we're adding the whole numbers together one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths so our answer would be three and two fourths so Linda would need three and two fourths cups of sugar for her cupcakes and her brownies. Doug is making cupcakes and brownies for a bake sale at his school. If he uses two and seven eighths cups of sugar for the cupcakes and one and seven eighths cups of sugar for the brownies, how many total cups of sugar does he use for the cupcakes and the brownies? Two and seven eighths is represented here. Two holes are shaded in or eight eighths plus one and seven eighths one whole or eight eighths is shaded in plus seven eighths two plus one is three if we add seven eighths plus seven eighths together that gets us 14 eighths which is a fraction greater than one whole so we want to make that into a mixed number eight eighths plus six eighths equals one and six eighths and so that is represented here as three plus one and six eighths equals four and six eighths. So Doug had to use four and six eighths cups of sugar for his brownies and his cupcakes. Tommy baked a cake for his mom for her birthday. They ate six tenths of the cake. How much cake did they have left? Well, here is the cake and that is one whole cake, but it is not broken up into pieces. So we wanna break it up into 10 pieces because they ate six tenths of the cake. We know 10 tens is the whole. They ate six tenths of it. So one minus six tenths equals, we want to turn that one whole into 10 tenths so that we can subtract 10 tenths minus six tenths. And that equals four tenths as represented in our bar model and mathematically. So Tommy had six tenths of the cake left. Addison had three and three eighths cups of flour for a cake. She uses one and five eighths cups to bake one cake. How many cups of flour does she have left? Well, let's represent three and three eighths using a bar model. We can see that there are three holes and three out of the eight pieces are shaded. And we want to take away one and five eighths cup. Well, we can take away one of the holes, but if I'm looking at my bar model, I only have three eighths to take away. So I am going to have to regroup my fractions to make one of the holes into eight eighths so that I can take away one, two, three, four, five eighths. So three eighths minus one hole and five eighths equals one hole and six eighths. Mathematically, it would look like this. 3 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 5 eighths. Well, 3 eighths minus 5 eighths is not something that I can do, so I want to regroup and make the 3, decompose it to make it 2 plus 1 plus 3 eighths. And then that 1 becomes a fraction of 8 eighths, 2 plus 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. So my new equation is 2 and 11 eighths minus one and five eighths. Now, 11 eighths minus five eighths is six eighths and two minus one is one. So our answer is one and six eighths cups of flour left.